So today we're going to do a very dangerous activity here in Kabul, Afghanistan, which is what are we going to do today? We are going to the zoo. We're going to the zoo. <laughs> it's very dangerous. They have uh, they have lions. So I think Fridays will be the most crowded, right? Because it's holiday. Yeah, today is holiday. The weekend. Ah, yeah. uh, weekend. Mm. So we're going to arrive at the zoo. Are you yeah, excited? <laughs> excited? <laughs> so welcome to the zoo here in Kabul. Again, I don't support that animals are put in cages, but as I'm here already, I would like to see what is the conditions of the animals and uh, how is the zoo different to a zoo, for example, in Germany. So here the three kids have been to the zoo about four years ago. The smoking and yes. everything is not allowed. Uh, uh, no smoking in the zoo, yeah. that's good. No smoking. It's very clean so far. So the entrance is one pound for foreigners and 30 pence for locals. But also to pay a one pound camera fee to take photos, which is still reasonable. And over there we can see an interesting stature on top of the hill. Let's have a look. See, there's some Taliban already on the top. Taking photos. Yeah. I also brought some bananas for the monkeys. Okay, English. Afghanistan. I haven't seen any animals yet. So you have to see where the animals are. Kids are climbing up. I think they have even light at night here. Very beautiful. So I have to go back down. So some people you can speak English. What yes, is your I name? Can. My name is Ah yes. And you walk in the zoo or you come as a visitor? What? You come as a visitor to yes. the zoo? Yeah. Ah, I see. Is it's it your first time in the zoo? Yeah. Your first time? Yeah. Oh, I see. Where are you from? Uh, Germany. Uh, Germany. Germany. What is your name? Uh, Stefan. Uh, Stefan. Stefan, yes. Where do you live? I live in Kabul. In Kabul. I mean, a visit for one month. Love you as Afghanistan people. I love Afghanistan. People are very nice, yes. We're people are really yes. nice. Yes, I'm very happy to be here. Yes. So here they also take professional photos. Professional. Yes, big camera. Very nice. So where is a good photo spot? Like from this side? Yeah, there is a good angle on this monument. That's why we have the photographer here as well. Quick photo session with the Taliban. Now having a look at the uh, deer. Yeah. yeah. Ah. These are deer. So this is the hawk deer, as they call it. Because he's very busy. Very busy the zoo. So what do they have in this cage? Ah, the owls. Over there. Oh, these poor creatures need to fly. Here's the reptile center. Let's have a look. Yes. Snakes. Oh, we will buy extra ticket for this one. Ten rupees. Oh, ten rupees. So ten cents extra. Let's have a look. Boy. Here the fishes. More fishes. More fishes. And more fishes. So apparently they do have a python. Yeah. Oh, over there. There's a snake. Oh, there are big eggs, crab, and some fish food as decoration. So I think a lot of many foreigners coming to the zoo, and all the tourists who come to Afghanistan wouldn't think of going to the zoo here. Yeah. So it's interesting how everybody's looking and they're getting attention. So, so here they have some more birds. Pigeon, pigeon. Pigeons. Yeah, not so interesting. Over here, like a buffalo, and there are camels. Oi. Yeah, you can learn a little bit about the camels, where they can be found in Afghanistan, China, Pakistan. Remove map. I'm wondering if this is an error. Now we're at the cage of the brown bear. But where is it? It's not here. There you can see the bear inside sleeping as you would expect and now we come to the highlight of the entire zoo the last white lion of afghanistan 
Unfortunately, the lion is nowhere to be found. <laughs> but there are some ducks. So this is the main entrance actually. We went to the parking entrance. And here they have a sculpture of the lion. Marjan. Can't be found anywhere. Ducks and uh, pelicans. Peacock. Oh, and here the wild cats. All are sleeping. And here are the wolves. Oh, they're a little active. Hey, look what we have here. Yeah. Reindeer. Wow. So majestic. Oh. Look what's there, the monkeys. Ah, one of the main attraction here. Lots of people here, the monkeys. Yes. So I'm here with my Taliban friends. I'm Stefan. Yes. Speak English. Yes. You often come to the zoo? It's the first time. First time in the zoo? It's first time in the zoo? No, yes. No, yes. You like the zoo? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What is your favorite animal? What animal you like? I want to the python. Yeah. What animals you like? Lion. They have elephant here. Elephant. Tigers. Tiger. Where? Where are the tigers? Where are the tigers? Yeah. Oh. Okay. That English. 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 The cum he what they that. English. Mega. Where are you from? Uh, Germany. Yes, Germany. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm go my friend. Okay, see you. Bye. As you see, the Taliban are very friendly and they also enjoy the zoo just like normal people. They are normal people. Ostrich. Oh, there's a big ostrich. And it's just here at the gate. Look at this. Wow, these are domestic animals. The yak, very beautiful. They live here in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yes. Afghanistan animal. Yes. Yes, the kids are curious. Yeah, they are more interested about me than about the animals. <laughs> so here they have a horse. Oh, you can pet the horse even. It's so close. You can pet the horse. Pet the horse. Wow. <laughs> so it's good to see that they have an animal health clinic here. So all in all the condition is quite acceptable I would say. It's like Western standard. But again zoos are not good. The Afghan dog. The Afghan dog, where? Ah, there's the dog. That's the Afghan dog. Unbelievable. He looks just like a pet dog. He's moving. This is a wild dog. No, look, they put this dog in this cage like a lion. But this is just a pet dog. So, here with my new friends. Yeah, Afghanistan Zindabad. Afghanistan Zindabad. Yes, yes. Very nice people here. Let's try to throw bananas to the monkeys. They complained? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. Okay. Oh, they got a banana. They got it. Wow, is this a banana? It's not unhealthy for them. Yes, this dog we just saw. Very interesting. What do we have here? These are leopards. <coughs> these are not tigers, these are leopards. Leopards? Yes. The leopards are sleeping. I think they are night animals. Leopard. Not too rare, but very elusive. Oh, and the uh, porcupine. These things are so cute. Very nice. Oh, you can weigh yourself. The lion is coming. Finally, the highlight of today is coming out. Look at him. The white lion, majestic. The lion have high security. Yeah. The only cage with security for the lion, protection. No, no, no. They are, they are oh, he's visiting now. He's protection. No, they are really? <laughs> ah. 
Beautiful. Amazing creatures. Wow, this is the highlight of today. A white lion. Oh, this was a highlight. As you can see, lots of people are looking at the lion, also at me. <laughs> but the lion is still more interesting. I feel, I feel cherished that people give me attention despite this majestic creature. Vultures. So majestic birds. So that's already it from the zoo. It's not too big, but uh, it's still quite nice. Uh, I think the animals live um, like in zoos. I mean, it's not good for them. Therefore, um, in my description, you will also find a link uh, to donate for animal equality. They, I think they serve for all kinds of animal rights. But one important thing that you can do today is already reduce meat consumption. Yeah, because these uh, animals in um, the factories, the factory farms, they are suffering the most. They are suffering way more than the animals in the zoo. Therefore, you don't have to be vegan, but at least reduce the consumption of meat and animal products. That's my message for you today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. But one thing you could notice, that there are barely any women at the zoo. Not sure why, but that's the case. It's the biggest zoo of Afghanistan, no? Yeah. <laughs> the biggest.